Are you looking to get out of town and not spend a lot of money? We call them one tank trips, places where you can go for less than a tank of gas. Our correspondent, Alyssa Caverly, found just such a place just about an hour outside of New York City. Locals will tell you that if you have a car in New York City, you are crazy. No place to park and with so much traffic, not a fun place to drive. But if you do have a car or can get one, you're in luck because you get to drive out of the city. We're gonna take you 60 miles north of New York City to the Hudson Valley where everything is different. Start heading north out of the city towards Yonkers and stay on the right side of the Hudson River. 45 minutes later, you'll find yourself at a place called Stone Barns. And it's about as far away from New York City as you can get. Here, you'll find everything from greenhouses to sheep herding. Okay, well, so when we open this gate, tell me what exactly is gonna happen. Well, the sheep are gonna be real excited to run through the opening and get to the fresh grass. So we like to use the verbal commands with the sheep for a few reasons, but we'll start saying good day, good day is something that they respond to. Good day, good day, good day, good day. The, the one thing that's a little interesting this time of year is because the lambs, I mean, the ewes are really know the, um, the routine well after doing this for years, mm -hmm. but the lambs are, have only been doing this for a short period right, of time. So. Right. Once they finally figured out where they were going, these little guys were definitely not camera shy. He's ready for his close up. Next, we cross the Hudson River, and 30 minutes later, we arrive in the town of Nyack. It's small, just 7,000 residents, but it has a lot to offer. For this trip, we came for one thing only, to shop. And with that in mind, Nyack's mayor, Jen Laird White, gave me a tour of the town. Small little shops with the kinds of things you will never find in big department stores, including a newly opened shop that is truly dangerous, a store with every type of candy. There's also a gift shop with all sorts of unusual quirky items for the home decorator, and a bookstore. Part of its charm is its old-fashioned feel, and some pretty authentic old books, too. After our shopping spree, we head even deeper into the Hudson Valley. We are fully into the Hudson Valley, arriving at Bear Mountain State Park. After some great shopping and eating, we're gonna go see some wildlife. At the Trailside Museum and Zoo. Actually, zoo might not be the right word for this place. It operates as a wildlife sanctuary, where animals are brought when they can't be released back into the wild, like these birds. Wow, look at how colorful the face yeah. is. Why is she shaking? It's she's... a he. Oh, he. And Why he's, is he? he's displaying for you. Oh, he, he, is. he thinks you're a female turkey. Big Bear Mountain is also part of a bigger American outdoor adventure. So we're on the Appalachian Trail right now. That's mm -hmm. what the white blazes are that you see on the trees. OK. And, and where does that go from? What, what, if well, we had... if you did the whole thing, it'd be, it'd be about 2,000 miles. And it's from Georgia wow. to Maine, or Maine to Georgia, whichever wow. direction you're going in. And right up ahead is the, the lowest elevation for that 2,000 mile stretch is just ahead here. Besides all the exercise you'll get here, you're walking a couple miles from the parking lot to the Wildlife Center. It's also a great place to come if you're on a budget. The parking is free, but of course donations are always welcome. Our total time for this trip was just nine hours, including all of our stops. 50 miles and we burned just half a tank of gas. Not bad considering we got to experience an entirely different world right outside Manhattan.